No sooner has one New York skyscraper risen above its neighbors than another is on its way to reach a little higher. In 1966, this area was raised to make way for the towers of the World Trade Center. A thousand workmen removed 164 outdated buildings. Miles of telephone cables, pneumatic tubes, gas, steam, water, and sewer lines were relocated or removed. In 1969, from 70 feet below street level, the first tower rose toward its 1,350-foot destination. The unique tower design permitted many building activities normally accomplished in sequence to take place at the same time. Large open areas free of columns are a major feature of the tower buildings. Closely spaced vertical columns provide the load-bearing strength instead of the customary interior steel skeleton. In late 1970, the last piece of steel for the tower was hoisted over a quarter mile into position atop New York's tallest building. The North Tower of the World Trade Center was topped out in December 1970. The South Tower was completed in 1971. The purpose of the World Trade Center is to increase the flow of international trade. It brings together 130,000 people each day people of business and government involved in processing international commerce. The towers are occupied by the communications, financing, transportation and education facilities required to carry on business more efficiently. At the World Trade Institute, businessmen and women from the world's trading nations study ways to expand and improve international trade. These towers are becoming a world headquarters a United Nations of World Trade. At 110 stories, the twin towers of the World Trade Center dominate the New York City skyline. Fifty thousand people work in these buildings, traveling here from all over the metropolitan area. More than 700 firms and organizations from over 60 nations have offices at the center. This close proximity of people with business links to the rest of the world was meant to facilitate more efficient and freer exchange of goods between nations. Many tenants have found that they are able to operate better, improve their business communications, increase sales and profits because they move to the center. Leonidas Contas, a senior vice president of Prudential Lines, gives a typical tenant reaction. We have found that it's made for uh, far more efficient 
operations, both in terms of, of traffic and sales, uh, as well as in terms of, uh, of operations uh, themselves. The decision has been more than validated in our year and a half of experience here. What I wish to demonstrate to you today is our worldwide trade information service. While the World Trade Center serves as a headquarters for many kinds of organizations, its most important role is serving the world trade community. Someone entering the information center on the ground floor with a factual question on world trade can expect a prompt answer from the computerized interfile system. Financial status of Belgium as an investment opportunity. Could you check me what's the uh, export amount of Finnish particle board last year? Yeah, to translate that to a series of codes. Developed in cooperation with trade centers all over the world, the Interfile Data Bank is the world's largest pool of international business information with a capacity of 65 million different world trade questions. It is a clearinghouse for the data of thousands of business groups involved in the international community. This is the printout of what appeared on the screen, and this should answer the question that you had given us. Thank you You're very welcome. much. You're welcome. The World Trade Institute is the educational arm of the center. It offers practical courses in all aspects of international trade and serves as a forum for businessmen from many countries. Courses range from this one on petroleum shipping to foreign languages to how to do it sessions for office workers. Lay over. You have to be very careful as you get near the end, just that it just touches bottom and is not touching one of the, uh, you know, one of the frames or something. And then they leave it sit there all five, ten seconds. The World Trade Center is home to some of the largest and some of the smallest international businesses operating today. It is having a major impact on the economic life of New York and many nations around the world. <laughs>